Okay, good afternoon, everyone. This is Carl Afros recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania, uh, on um, when yeah Wednesday, uh, December December twenty eighth, uh, twenty twenty two, and um, I want to talk about the uh, upcoming NFL playoffs. Um, uh, whether or not the Detroit Lions make it, that's, you know, a lot of things got to happen for, for that, for that to happen. And I just did a, a YouTube live stream pretty much talking about the Lions. Uh, this podcast is going to mainly be about the NFL in general and, um, what, what I see how the, how the playoffs, um, you know, what's looking, um, what I'm looking at, um, uh, uh, for sure, the Vikings are going to be in there, and then one of the uh, NFC South teams, which they'll probably get eliminated. Then you have the uh, Vikings, or excuse me, then you have the San Francisco 49ers, and then you have the, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, no matter what, in the NFC, um, any team getting to the uh, Super Bowl will have to go through Philadelphia and some uh, really brutal weather. Um, and the only team that I think that would be capable of doing that would be the San Francisco 49ers. Um, and actually, I think that's going to be the championship game anyway, uh, the 49ers uh, versus the Eagles. And uh, uh, the, the frankly, um, uh, the 49ers are quite capable of uh, defeating the Eagles. If the Eagles defense is um, um, not up to par and um, if Jalen Hurts is still kind of wobbly um, uh, because he's been injured. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, but if, if the Eagles aren't 100% and even though it's in miserable weather in their, in their home um, with the 49ers defense, um, they could just stifle the Eagles, and, uh, and their offense is, isn't that bad either. Um, um, depending on weather conditions, it probably won't be a high-scoring game, and that actually favors the 49ers uh, over the Eagles. So um, I imagine the Eagles will be favored, um, but uh, the 49ers could pull up the – pull off the upset and end up in the Super Bowl. But uh, that'll be a good game. To, if it comes down to those two teams, that'll be that'll be a real good game to watch. It'll, it'll be a slugfest out in the elements, and uh, we'll just have to see who the better team is that day. And in the uh, AFC, um, uh, Cincinnati could throw a monkey wrench. They're starting to play pretty good. Um, um, and um, so, so they may be, might be surprising pe people, but um, I really like the Buffalo Bills. There, besides the Lions and the Giants, um, I really like the Buffalo Bills. Um, I've got a bunch of Buffalo Bills stuff too. Got some of that for Christmas. But um, um, I'm looking at you know, more than likely the the AFC uh, champion coming down to Buffalo and Kansas City, and uh, not sure. Um, depending on all the seating, how the seating turns out. Um, um, if it's in Kansas City, uh, Kansas City could be the winner. But if it's in Buffalo, um, and they're brutal, um, even though Kansas City is used to lousy weather, but if, if, if teams have to go through Buffalo to get to the, get to the Super Bowl, um, that's going to be tough, kind of like, like the, the Eagles. Um, so Buffalo's used to the weather. They're used to the elements. So is Kansas City. Um, but if it's in Buffalo, um, in other words, if it's in Buffalo, um, I, I give it, I, I favor them. Um, but um, if it's in Kansas City, because you know, Kansas City can have some brutal weather too. Um, again, and um, I will say that no matter where it's played and depending on the weather, it's probably going to be um, a slugfest too, even though both teams can score. Um, but um, uh, it's hard to score a lot of points 
uh, when when you're playing on a, a real slick surface, you know, fumbles. Those you know these nasty weather games are are um, uh, great for the the defenses. And um, so we could have some low scoring championship games, which which is kind of fun. Um, sometimes uh, some of these uh, hard fought battles are are uh, nice to see. But anyway, that that's kind of my my take on things. Um, uh, I know we're only we still have two more games left in the season, but um, this is how I see things playing out. Um, as far as the playoffs go, but uh, anything can happen in the next two weeks. Key injury here, key injury there to any team can really alter a lot of things. But you know, some teams are already in, and um, but even then, the, the teams that are in—that's kind of the reason why they rest their players. Um, uh, so anyway, well, that's about it. I just wanted to get uh, that out, and um, we will talk to you next time. Have a good day.